Well, hello everybody. Just in case you're wondering what we're looking at, I think we're going to try and explain that all to you very soon. And we'll get back to this person here. <laughs> and we have another whole section over here. But there are some spaces that are a little bit empty, and I think I'm going to try to figure out what's going on. Hi. Liz Twiggs, how are you, dear? I am good. How are you? Wonderful. Introduce yourself. Tell everybody who you are and what you be. Hi, everybody. I am Liz Mareska Twiggs. I am the coordinator for the Fairlawn Food Pantry. Now, you've been doing this for, like, what, a million years or something? Uh, like, a million and one. A, mil a million and one. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's really an important part of, I think, what this borough is known for, helping people in need. Yeah, absolutely. And this is something that's actually year-round, and not everybody mm -hmm. always has a handle on that. I know we, you do better during the holiday season, mm -hmm. but summer-ish, there might be some needs. For example, what do you think could help out now for the food pantry? Sure. Energy? So this time of year, we, uh, as you can see, the shelves are kind of full, which is great. Uh, everybody has been really kind of keeping up with things and bringing us regular donations. But there are some things that we do get low on, and uh, I could show you some of them. I love so, show and tell. You know that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, boxed milk or dry milk or evaporated milk. These are amazing. It gives us the ability to hand out milk. Um, and these can stay on a shelf. They don't need to be refrigerated. Uh, I like that. That's a great idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. I keep this over the winter time just in case I it can't get out. Camping, that could come in handy. There you go. Okay, what do you got here? Uh, tuna, always important. Tuna is a uh, great protein for people. We don't get a lot of that, unfortunately, in the food pantry. So we can always use tuna. Good. Uh, fruit, again, kind of the one of the closer things we have to healthy items that we can hand out. So we always go through this a lot. We don't get a lot of that. We always get a ton of pasta, um, which is over there. Ton of pasta, but hardly any sauce. So you can't have one without the other. I know, I know. Like well, a day without have, sunshine. You can have butter. You can eh, but sauce, sauce, sauce. So um, sauce in a can is actually the best for us because if it falls, it does not break. Um, they're usually a little less expensive. Uh, and it also helps us we can kind of get more of these in a bag so we like the cans actually the best and then i always get peanut butter but i'm always missing jelly so and she's not kidding for <laughs> i want to show you something over here there's like fifteen thousand Jeff <laughs> peanut butters and like one or two little jams yeah. to go on top but yeah. actually that's serious we do mean you do yeah. mean that don't you yeah yeah so there's always some some stuff that we have a lot of right now we have a lot of uh we have a lot of vegetables because it is the can can sale, so you see a lot of Which that coming in. Yep, but uh, we are missing some things. And I think important to note also out loud is that look for expiration dates. Oh gosh, yeah, right? please. I mean, on, on, on everything. Dates, sure, sure. Um, everything has well, most everything has an expiration date, so just check them. Especially if it's something you're pulling out of your cabinet. Maybe it's something you haven't used, so you decide to donate it. I do it too. I have kids in school, and I tend to just pull stuff out and put them in a bag, but you do have to check the dates. You know, just before we get to something that I see at the end, over there, folks, we'll get to that in a second. I just had a thought about something. How about household goods, like cleaning things? Anything oh, sure. Like, is that something that's... Yeah, important? absolutely. Household goods, paper towels, uh, dish, dish soap, things that, yeah, things that you can uh, use to clean up. Okay, now, it's July-ish. Yes, yep, it is. Something's coming up pretty soon called school, if I remember that correctly. Shh, don't tell the kids. Yeah, I won't tell the kids. <laughs> they're at Memorial Pool, so enjoying yeah, themselves, which is fantastic. Yeah, they'll enjoy themselves. But you have a few things down at the other end I that you're going to slide I over. I do, I do. I'm going to pull these over okay. here. Okay, why are we showing this? What's the deal here? So what we do over the summer and this time of year, all the sales are starting, uh, we start collecting school supplies. So I have kids who, uh, what we do is we fill up backpacks for them and send them off to school with some school supplies. So it's not too early for back to school. Never too early for back to school. When it is on sale, it is time. Oh, right, you're showing me notebooks. What else might fit into that category? You know, I have a lot of kids. I know a lot of people will bring me in crayons and things like that, but most of my kids are actually uh, junior high age and high school. Okay. So notebooks and pens, uh, especially erasable pens, uh, folders, uh, binders, one half an inch all the way up to three inch binders are great. Uh, book socks. Maybe iPads too. You want to have? <laughs> I will take iPads. <laughs> I am not going to turn those down. Calculators, you know that kind of stuff. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. So things. But you're, for all you're really serious about the school stuff, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Really helps them out. You know, I mean, we know how much we spend on our kids uh, for back to school stuff. So any little bit helps when we can give that to other people. And like I always say that even though we're now talking specifically about a particular time of year, year-round the food pantry could always use some help from more people in the town, right? Absolutely. We are here, you know, all year round. So we've been very lucky over the past, you know, year or so people do 
donate to us regularly. We have a uh, Facebook page, uh, Fairlawn Food Pantry. So if I get low on specific things, I'll put it out there, and most of the time, people will bring it in for me. Now, there's usually a question I ask you about people being able to get in touch with you. Uh, how is that possible? How is that possible? You can call me. You can email me. Um, so, like I said, the Facebook page is Fairlawn Food Pantry. I do keep an eye on that every day. Okay. Uh, but you can also email me. My email is hhs, as in Harry, Harry, Sam, hhs at fairlawn.org. Or my phone number, 201-794-5333. You want me to repeat that, don't you? See, I got you. We've been doing this for we've, a while. We've been doing a while, yes. <laughs> All right, my email, HHS. By the way, it's not... What did you call it before? HHS the stuff for what? Harry Harry Sam. Okay, it's actually it? Health and Human Services. Right, let's yeah. get the real name out there. Yeah, I know, but it's easier. Come on. Well, I'm, people are going to retain like it by this conversation. <laughs> Keep on going. HHS at Fairlawn.org or 201 7945333. Thank you, Liz, for everything Thank you're doing. You. And a lot of people that actually help you out here. I do want oh, to touch on that for a second. There's a lot yeah. of volunteers that stack, put things away, and make all this really work well with you, too. Yeah, we I want to um, just thank them for that. Yeah, absolutely. My volunteers are, are the greatest. Uh, you know, they only call me when they need me, which is never. <laughs> I kind of just run this on but their it works own. Well. They do. They, they're amazing. I've, I'm so lucky to have them. Okay, Liz Twiggs, thank you very much. And thank folks, you, sir. I'm going to keep on walking around. Don't forget, these things are going to help out, so stay with me. Inside Fail, and we'll be right back.